My name is Dr. Okpayemi Olabisi. I'm an assistant professor of medicine at Duke University. I will be presenting to you a new study funded by NIH called Care and Justice Kidney Disease Study. There are four problems that I really want to highlight for us why this is important. The first problem is the high burden of kidney failure in the black community. The second problem is a lack of kidney disease awareness in the black community. Thirdly, the lack of specific treatment for this kidney disease. And fourthly, that blacks are underrepresented in clinical trials. Black Americans are four times more likely to develop kidney failure than white Americans. Black Americans represent 13% of the U.S. population. But when you look at patients who are on dialysis, black represent 35% or more. If 100 people start dialysis today, in three years, only 50 of them will still be around. For black men, life loss to kidney failure is similar to life loss to colon cancer. And for black women, life loss to kidney failure is similar to life loss to breast cancer. Think about that. That's very deadly disease. That's why we need to do something about it. It's an urgent problem that will require all of our effort. Eight of 10 people with kidney disease walking around do not know they have kidney disease. Kidney failure is often gradual, it's often silent, and it's often painless. What is really the origin or the cause of kidney failure? Structural racism, socioeconomic factors, the environmental factors, lastly, biological factors, the genes we inherit from our parents. And this is where the factor I will be describing today fall under. And that biological factor is a gene called APOL1. It's a gene that is common in all humans. Research suggests that there's a new version of this APOL1 that developed four to 6,000 years ago in West Africa, in the modern day Nigeria, Ghana area, where people that carry this altered version of APOL1 have an advantage, a survivor advantage, because this altered APOL1 protected Africans from the parasite that causes African sleeping sickness. Unfortunately, that same gene that protected from the sleeping sickness also increased the risk of kidney failure. The movement of Africans to the America on the slave ship brought the gene to the Americas. The APOL1 gene we now know is a major contributor to kidney disease uh, among African Americans. About 10 to 15 percent of blacks in the U.S have two copies of the altered APOL1 gene. 40% of blacks who are on dialysis have two copies of APOL1 genotype. The first impact of this altered APOL1, it gets people that have it on the train that's going to dialysis. The second impact of this gene is that once you're on that train, it makes that train into a bullet train. You see the lower train, the APOL1 CKD train, gets to dialysis much sooner about 10 years earlier, on average, we do not have any intervention currently that slows down the APOL1 train. If you look at clinical trials of kidney disease, blacks represent less than 5% of individuals in clinical trials. So this is a major problem. So I've presented four problems. Problem number one, high burden of kidney disease in black community. Problem number two, lack of kidney disease awareness. Problem number three, no specific treatment, and in this case specifically for APOL1. And problem number four, that blacks are underrepresented in clinical trial, which is the standard way by which we find care. So what are we going to do about it? And that's the goal of the Care and Justice Project. The Care Project actually increase awareness, screen people to see who has kidney disease. Once we identify individuals that have the APOL1-related kidney disease, we we'll go to the second step, which is justice. Our study led us to identify a pathway that regulates APOL1 production. There's a drug that blocks this pathway, and that drug has been used for the past eight years for rheumatoid arthritis. We propose to use that medication here. It's a tablet medication, well tolerated. We'll be using that in the justice trial, where individuals will be randomized to receive uh, this medication. We've assembled a team of experts working in partnership with the community. What are the goals of care? One is engagement, two is increased awareness, and three provide screening for kidney disease. We plan to screen about 5,000 people over a period of five years. It's a single one-time visit. This can happen in the community or at Duke. If you are interested in getting more information, you can email us directly 
at care.justice.duke.edu or you can call our dedicated number at 919-613-9905. Thank you very much for your attention.